is the cheapest adventure we ever had in our life. Welcome to my channel! Love, learn, and love with Jerlyn Cass! Breakfast with a view at our backyard! Let's breakfast together, guys! Okay, I'm hungry. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we adore you. Thank you for the good time and the life that you have given us, especially this life that you have sanctify the life that you have saved because of what you have done on the cross your blood that runs on the cross that washes away our sins and we have the assurance of our destiny with you thank you father god for this morning may we continue to reflect of your goodness that it's time for us uh, to stay in silence and allow you lord god to speak into our heart even as we have this breakfast in the beauty of the nature that you have provided for us thank you lord god that there is stillness in our heart peace in our heart because you are our god who give us peace thank you lord we love you and we bring back to your glory and praise in the mighty name of jesus we pray amen, amen. okay let's enjoy the food yes living a life of contentment is actually a gift uh, from god but god speaks my heart that i should be contented of what is around me appreciate his goodness what I see around me it's very relaxing I personally love American breakfast sometimes I request my husband to prepare American breakfast for both of us and of course I I love Filipino breakfast but for a change <laughs> bagel ka. I know it's not bagel uh, easy kill bread easy kill bread this is my forever love na bread, actually. Flourless bread. We just, we just want. Uh, mm. I already memorized the calories. It's 80 per slice and 15 grams of mm. carbohydrates. <laughs> I love bagel, so magbi bagel ako. Copy first. It is a Starbucks State Mug, Vermont. Mine is Rhode Island. Yeah, aside from Vermont, we went to Rhode Island last time. It's the smallest state, I believe. But my gosh, the mansions are very. Impressive. Uh, like in our case, during the weekdays, we are so busy with our work. We usually come out in our house like 5.45 or before 5.45 just to avoid traffic and be in our workplace before the time or mm -hmm. on time. With our schedules, we need to somehow find time or have the ability to get away from hustle and bustle hustle and bustle of the busy life especially we are working in in the city so it's better to have this kind of activity in life because we have to understand there is such kind of a rhythm of life that like the Sun it dries up in the morning and sets in the afternoon so that's our life. We need to balance our life that our life has an activity and of course there's also rest. So activity, rest, activity, rest. It's like breathing in and breathing out. So this this kind of uh, uh, set up right now breakfast uh, with the nature is somehow we can appreciate the beauty of the Lord, the yes. glory of the Lord and meditate of His goodness and allow Him to speak in the silence in in the beauty of even the sunlight you can appreciate that because God is faithful and he is faithful every morning his his mercy is new every morning as the Sun goes up and the Sun goes down and that's the way God shows his uh, his uh, faithfulness to us we measure ako ng ano of Kramer. One tablespoon is 35 calories. Mag <laughs> bagel ka. Ah, hindi. Yogurt. This is a yogurt. We have the hemp seed, yogurt, strawberry, blueberries, apple, and this is a turkey. Sliced cheese. Cheeses of the world. <laughs> we have white cheddar, Asiago, and this is a jalapeno. Havarti. Havarti cheese. Wow! My bagel. 
and uh, this pretzel and granola. You can add granola. Sa yogurt. Ko rin i-share how to properly read a, a Bible, a Bible verse. Yeah, when I started my Christian life, my Christian walk with the Lord Jesus Christ, I experienced how God sanctified me because I know my lifestyle before, before uh, encountering Christ in my life, my lifestyle was so uh, messy, so chaos because I'm doing anything that I want to do without thinking of the bad consequences uh, that would come after it. So before, I, I used to uh, be in the limelight because I was in the theater group and I always staying late, very late outside, uh, I stayed uh, on the road, drunk, and even in the disco houses, but it never satisfied me. Yes, there is some kind of happiness because there is happenings, but it's a short-lived. But right now, because of the Lord Jesus Christ, that no matter what the situation I may be, I know I have peace. I know God is the one who, who give me that uh, inner peace and joy, no matter what the circumstance. So right now, uh, when I study the Word of God, there is now a different perspective. Before, I just choose a passage in the Bible and apply it into my life without understanding that so every word in the, in the Bible has a purpose, why the author mentioned that, why the author wrote that uh, particular passage in the Bible. So right now, uh, I, I, I discovered how to really uh, study the Bible well by looking at the two C's. It means the first C is you have to look at the content what the, the author is trying to say. You have to read the whole passage and you know how uh, you also have to understand another C which is the context. So by understanding the context is you know you should understand the historical or the biblical uh, history of that uh, particular uh, book in the Bible. You have to understand that an author wrote a particular book because there is an ongoing circumstance or ongoing occasion. Like for instance, in the book of Galatians, mm -hmm. during that time, uh, Paul, when he encountered the Lord Jesus Christ, he was sent to do mission and preach the gospel to the, to the Gentiles. And he uh, ended up... Uh, uh, preaching the gospel to the Galatian churches and many Gentiles received the Lord Jesus Christ that is only the work of Jesus on the cross his faithfulness his obedience even to the point of death on the cross that gives us justification and many received that uh, gospel and they became a believer and they are the Gentile Christians and it so happened when he went to another journey to do mission he just heard that there are some Jewish Christians who went to to Gentile community or Gentile Christians and preached another gospel that they said okay in order for you to be truly part of the body of Christ yes you are Gentiles you have now the Lord Jesus Christ but you have to follow our tradition as Jewish people you have to be circumcised so that you will be truly uh, a Christian or belong to the body of Christ which is not the gospel that Paul uh, uh, preached to this uh, Gentile community because salvation can only be availed through the work of the Lord Jesus Christ it's not the work of people it's not by obeying all the laws because it's hard for us to obey all the laws it's all we have to do is just to trust to what God has done on the cross that gives us salvation so that's it so that's why the book of Galatians the purposely Paul wrote that uh, book because there is some occasion going on in the Gentile community or Gentile Christians that there are someone or group of people the Jewish Christians or what we call the circumcision group trying to present another gospel which is not a gospel at all because the true gospel is believe to what the Lord Jesus Christ has done on the cross that sets us free from the bondage of sin and from the bondage of the evil age. So that's it. So that's why when you read the Bible, you need to know the context and the content.
so you will not miss use or uh, take the passage or the word of God out of context so that's a brief uh, uh, a brief way of studying the Bible and there's a there's more that you can learn how to read the Bible in a right direction yeah we should know what happened before and then what is the content read a passage like and after five, five if you read like five uh, verses when you read the five verses you have also to read uh, before at least five verses before that passage and after that passage so you can have the whole picture of what's going mm -hmm. on because some people they just use a certain verse and then embrace it but without knowing what happened before and after and what's going on in that particular mm -hmm. situation mm -hmm. and what's the purpose why why a particular author wrote that passage so i'm so, so thankful for our bible study actually for our bible study group i've learned something miguel from harris theater <laughs> with the uh, cream cheese we want to show our neighbors. Da, no, we've been a veggie, veggie Yeah, I have my vegetable garden there. Filipino. I have it's my camote. I have some uh, herbs. I have mint. I have my basil. I have my kangkong as well there. Then I also have uh, lemongrass. Then the taro leaves. So the taro, then eggplant. Alubate. A green onion. Apple cheese. Oh. Asia go. Did I say it correctly? Because the spelling Asia tapos go. So Asia go. What is? Pretzels. Is it pretzel? Pretzels. And there are calories. Yeah. Five pieces of this are actually 120 calories. I, but I be careful. Be careful of the grams of sugar. According to American Heart Association, we only like for women. We only need like. 25 grams of sugar per day. Supposedly! 10.06 <laughs> Sunday worship service mm -hmm. at 10.45 So, it's already 10.06 So, I, th I, I think we're still, we're still good. Yeah. And I invite you I invite you to if you want to join us during our Sunday worship online we have our YouTube account So, look for Concord International Church at 10.45 Or if you cannot join us real time you can just uh, look for our videos because mm, it's already posted there up. so you can watch it uh, on your own time it's autumn season that's why we're wearing jacket the weather is um, unpredictable in uh, north carolina it's cold in the morning and then all of a sudden sunny <laughs> you eat na. Kain ka na apple i did Sarap. We will be sharing more travel vlogs, overlooking restaurants, oceanfront view restaurant, mountain view restaurants, riverfront, lakefront view, city building view restaurants, any overlooking. Coupled with weight loss tips and inspiring spiritual health testimonies. So this is my yogurt with hemp seeds and blueberry and strawberry this is my Baguio City our backyard is my Baguio City here in North Carolina USA the city is like a, a little America in the Philippines strawberry one piece Five calories. <laughs> Bonus. Review lang tayo guys. Ha? I have. Uh, if you go to my playlist, I have videos about BMI, PMR. I give some tips on how to lose weight and maintain a healthy weight. I discuss about BMI, BMR, and then the number of calories that we only needed per day and how to lose weight. You can actually visit the playlist. Counting the number of calories would really help us to lose weight if you have the chance to count and monitor the number of calories check the nutrition facts it will really help you if you have the chance then do it 
for of course whatever works for you go for it and balancing of macronutrients carbs protein and fats could also be one factor to help us how to maintain a healthy weight it could not be perfect but of course if you have the chance you can monitor the nutrition facts the better example this one cheese one ounce is actually 110 calories if you would just eat it without checking the nutrition facts you're done for the day but I'm so happy we have breakfast with a view at our backyard the cheapest adventure we ever have <laughs> but of course guys continue on watching our videos we will be traveling because we, we we need to unwind in different places also we need to to visit different places to explore different places and the experience i mean the the culture in that uh, local area thank you for watching love learn in love with jordan cast naku strawberry baby malaki apple na ako nag cheese nag bagel <laughs> one yung one bagel 330 calories yun ha blueberry bagel 330 calories isa so i just divide it mmm harap aside from starbucks creamer i love nestle creamer french vanilla nestle all nestle products actually delicious for me but naka on kaya sigurado ka Marini kaya yun kasi maingay yung ano, nagbahar. <laughs> Sige pa eh. Ewan lang. Kaya magkakapa ko cheese o. <laughs> Bagyo City kasi, uh, it's it's America in uh, in USA. It's really America in uh, USA. I mean, Bagyo City is like a... Thank you for watching. Love, learn, and love with Jordan Ken.